Welcome to the Royal Alberta Museum. I'd like to invite the executive director, Megan Patterson, to come up to this end. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today for this really exciting event. As Gary mentioned, my name is Megan Patterson. I'm the executive director here at the Royal Alberta Museum. I'd like to begin this morning by acknowledging that the Royal Alberta Museum sits on Treaty 6 territory, a traditional meeting grounds, gathering place, and traveling route for the Cree, Soto, Blackfoot, Métis, Dene, and Nakota Sioux. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries, and honor the many generations of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples who continue to call this land home and whose strength and resiliency remain evident in the expression of diverse cultures, languages, and traditions. So thank you for joining us here today as we celebrate the opening of the Here and Now exhibition. The Royal Alberta Museum is proud to partner with the Alberta Foundation for the Arts to share these moving artworks with our visitors. Here at RAM, we celebrate a diversity of stories in our galleries in the hopes that all Albertans of all backgrounds see themselves reflected and represented at the museum. The powerful artworks featured in Here and Now explore complex themes that give visitors the space to contemplate new perspectives and inspire further curiosity in the world around them. Through partnerships such as this, Albertans can create connections that strengthen our vibrant communities, a cause that RAM is pleased to support. To kick us off this morning, please join me in welcoming the Honourable Tanya Furr, Minister of Arts, Culture and Status of Women, to the podium. Thank you, Megan, for that introduction, and good morning, everyone. I am thrilled to be here with you at the Royal Alberta Museum to unveil the Here and Now exhibition. Today we gather to celebrate Alberta art and artists and how Alberta's government and the Alberta Foundation for the Arts are working together to make art more accessible for Albertans. Here and Now is a wonderful example of how artists can reveal the rich and diverse stories that define our province. As you walk through the exhibition space, you will encounter 16 remarkable artworks by 12 amazing Alberta artists, carefully selected from the art collection built and cared for by the Alberta Foundation for the Arts. Each piece offers a poignant reflection of Alberta's unique cultural heritage. I'm honored to spotlight the talented Albertans behind these creations, including Claudia Jimenez Shikoya, Esther Susan Scott, who's here with us, here with us today, Han Sungpil, Lisa Braun, Lauren Chipier, Michael Lieb, Michael Magnuson, Nahani McKay, Rayanne Kit Yi Chung, Wei Li. Simone Saunders, and A.J. Loudon, who's also here with us this morning. Their work not only captivates the eye, but also speaks volumes about the depth of artistic talent in our province. This exhibition is also a reflection of our commitment to support local talent and fostering a thriving arts community. Alberta's art collection, cared for by the Alberta Foundation for the Arts, represents the work of more than 1,700 talented Alberta artists, and it has more than 9,400 pieces, and is the largest public collection of visual artworks by Alberta artists anywhere in the world. As Minister of Arts, Culture, and Status of Women, I am truly honoured to work with the arts sector and with the AFA because I get to see the beauty and talent that Albertan artists produce every day. When I first saw and toured some of the Alberta Foundation for the Arts collection, my first thought and response was that we need to get these outstanding artworks on display across the province so that all Albertans can see their amazing collection and artistic heritage. And so I tasked the Alberta Foundation for the Arts with that goal, and this exhibition is an excellent first step. I'm proud to continue to support the AFA and the incredibly important work they do and to support arts across Alberta. 
We know the arts play a significant role in enhancing the quality of life for all Albertans, as Megan was talking about, uh, adding to the vibrancy of community. Uh, and just last month, I was thrilled to announce that our government's uh, ongoing uh, support for the AFA with increases in funding over three years to reach record levels of nearly $39.1 million annually by 2026. With this funding, there are grants and other programs for artists and art organizations in all corners of the province, making it possible for artists to pursue their passions and make it a career. This investment also supports economic development and retention of a skilled workforce because we want artists to stay in Alberta to share their talents and grow our creative and cultural industries. These increases will bring Alberta in line with other provinces and at the same time, I continue to advocate to our federal government to fund the, their fair share towards Alberta's artists and art organizations. So I invite each of you to immerse yourselves in the stories, beauties, and perspectives captured within these artworks and celebrate your creativity and talent that went into each and every one. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the Alberta Foundation for the Arts for bringing Here and Now to fruition and to the Royal Alberta Museum for continuing to be a hub where heritage, culture, and arts come together and thrive in Alberta. I encourage all Albertans to take this opportunity to visit the exhibition and to witness firsthand the richness of our local arts talent. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you at Here and Now at the Royal Alberta Museum. Thank you, Minister. We are grateful to you for being a champion of arts and heritage in our province. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome Cynthia Moore, Chair of the Alberta Foundation for the Arts Board of Directors, to say a few words. Thank you, Megan, and good morning, everyone. Uh, another lovely spring day in Alberta. Um, first, I want to thank Minister Furr for giving me the opportunity to take on this role as chair of the Alberta Foundation for the Arts. This is actually my first uh, event. I was just appointed last week. Um, and it is an honor to work with the minister in supporting the arts community. I think you all know that she has put remarkable energy into her first year. Through her le leadership, more government resources will reach Alberta artists through the AFA. And I look forward to working with her and the AFA board and staff to make that happen. Now, um, this is a little unorthodox, but I thought you needed to know a little bit about me. I was born in Edmonton and just uh, lived uh, blocks from the former Ram. And I know there are a lot of you in this room who have the former Ram stories. But I've, I remember visiting there with my parents. In fact, my mom said to me this week, do you remember going to see the polar bears? And I thought, hmm, the Ram was, it was probably more than just the polar bears, but I do remember that. And my parents were avid art collectors and cultural enthusiasts. Their taste leaned to early Canadian works. My dad served as chair of the Glenby Museum in Calgary. I received my education in contemporary arts as a six-year member of the AU Arts Board of Governors. Of course, it was called um, ACAD at the time. Now, the walls of my house are covered with art that I love, including many student works. Now, while this is my first time in this magnificent building, it feels like a full circle moment. What an honor to be here on behalf of the AFA supporting the rich artistic fabric of this great province. Now, our goal is to ensure that art reaches more Albertans. I can't think of a better way to start than by being here to help open this exhibition of AFA art at the Royal Alberta Museum. As a public agency and provincial corporation, the AFA is entrusted by Alberta's government to help shape the ongoing evolution and growth of our arts community. This includes finding unique ways to elevate and share our artists' work with Alberta audiences. This exhibition, Here and Now, was created, curated from the AFA Art Collection, specifically from artworks acquired in the 2023 Art Acquisition by Application Program. Now, a little bit about the program. This program is designed to acquire contemporary works of art by eligible Alberta artists. In other words, any artist can apply. And this is a very popular program and an extremely competitive one. Last year, the AFA purchased 30 works by 24 artists through this program, selected through a three-stage expert adjudication process. 
from an incredible 481 artworks that were submitted by 124 visual artists across Alberta. Now that just tells you about the, the strength of our artistic community and the, and the interest in all of this. Now Here and Now features just a small selection of the amazing artwork that comprised the AFA art collection. And aren't we lucky to have um, these artists and their works here? These works have been created for this specific venue to align with contemporary themes of identity, female strength, human impacts on the land, and disability. Museum visitors will experience each of these themes sequentially as they venture through the exhi exhibition. Those represented in this exhibition are reflective of Alberta's racially and ethnically diverse population, as well as Alberta's unique cultural heritage. Now, congratulations to the 12 Alberta artists whose works were chosen. I actually recently met Han, Han Sangpil at the Trepanier Bear Gallery in Calgary, and I look forward to reviewing his remarkable photographs as well as the incredible works of the other artists. Now, the AFA's responsibility to develop, share, and care for our art collection is just one way we support the arts in Alberta. Our mandate is to support the development of all disciplines of the arts in all corners of the province. And we do so by providing provincial funding to artists, the performing arts, and the organizations that bring that, them together. To that end, we are incredibly excited about the increased funding for the AFA announced in Budget 2024. And I know, just a sidebar, that the Minister worked very hard to get that funding into the budget. So we need to thank her over and over and over again. Uh, So not only is the government increasing our budget by 18% this year, but it is committed to providing additional funding over the next three years that will see the AFA's budget reach nearly 40 million by 2026. And I know the minister's already said that, but I, don't, I think probably bears repeating uh, and, and, and shouting it to the world. So my job and the job of our board is to ensure our plan for allocating these increased resources reflective of community priorities. We will work hard to have ongoing age engagement with the art sector. It needs to work for the art sector. The AFA will continue to prioritize and invest in artists, art, and cultural materials. We look forward to sharing more details with the community, the community about our plan as it is confirmed, and that is imminent. In the meantime, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Premier Smith, Minister Furr, and the UCP government for this investment and for making Alberta art and artists a priority. Now, before I conclude, I just want to pay tribute to three former chairs of the AFA, who, have I, had who I have had pleasure to know and call friends. Jock Osler, who I don't know if any of you in this room remember Jock Osler, but he was seen as one of the, the best chairs that the AFA has ever had. And Mary more recently, Mary Rosé de Coquet, and now my predecessor, Paul Bay. They have laid a strong foundation for our work, and I com commend them for their service to Alberta artists. In closing, I would like to thank the RAM for its support and partnership with us to bring this exhibition to fruition. I understand it's the first time that AFA Art's been in the RAM, so this is, uh, this is a very good start. What a magnificent venue to showcase Alberta's, Albertan stories and what an innovative approach utilizing Al Al artists to tell those stories. Now, a great many people worked hard to make this exhibition a reality, and those of you in the room, including museum, AFA, and government staff, all collaborating to make this unique partnership work. Thank you. I would also like to thank the artists included in this exhibition, some of whom have joined us today in their lovely outfits. And thank you for sharing your artwork with the AFA. We are honored to be able to share your work with Albertans. In closing, I encourage everyone to come visit the RAM and experience here and now in person. Please visit the Fo Alberta Foundation for the Arts website to learn more about the artists and their work. Thank you again for having us. Thank you, Cynthia. We are proud to host these incredible artworks and share them with our visitors. Next, we have AJ Loudon, a wonderfully talented artist who is featured in the Here and Now exhibition. AJ is a muralist, designer, and educator based in Edmonton. And in his practice, he has worked with marginalized communities to create public art murals that reflect their stories. AJ. Hi, 
Hi everyone, my name is AJ Loudon, and I'm an artist living and working out of the city, a Miskwachiwa Sky Gun. My father came to this country from Jamaica in the 70s, and my mother was born and raised here on the prairies. I grew up in small town Alberta, and I've lived in this city for almost 20 years now. I'm mostly known for my work as a muralist, often collaborating with community to paint community stories on walls around our city, or working with small businesses and institutions to add meaning and beauty to our shared public spaces. I also love to travel and have painted murals in many other countries, including Japan, England, Spain, Germany, and the US. It's an honor for me to have my work shown here at the Royal Alberta Museum. So here now is a collection of works from 12 Alberta artists and I'm grateful to be included amongst many skilled and dedicated peers. The piece you'll see from me is a portrait of another local artist named Elsa Robinson, who is a local treasure worth celebrating. The Alberta Foundation for the Arts recently purchased this work from my series Like Me, which is a series of spray painted portraits of artists working out of this city. For this portrait of Elsa, I built the panel in my studio with the intent of simulating a brick architectural surface. That reminded me a little bit of painting in the streets as a graffiti writer. And then I used spray cans freehand to paint this portrait of Elsa. I also documented parts of the painting process and shared those online. And this project, the series Like Me, was primarily self-funded. And so when an organization like the AFA acquires a piece, it gives me the support to create and share more work like this. The AFA also supported my more recent forays into textile art, which you can see at my upcoming solo exhibition called Prairie Star Deck at the Alberta Craft Council on May, on May 25th. And these new tapestries take months to complete, and I wouldn't have been able to take them on without this kind of support from the AFA. The AFA represents a vital source of support for our artists and arts organizations, and I was very much encouraged when I saw their funding returning to pre-pandemic levels. I'd like to congratulate my fellow artists involved in the show and thank our provincial government, the Royal Alberta Museum, and the Alberta Foundation for the Arts for their support. Thank you, AJ. I look forward to exploring uh, your work further in the exhibition later today. So this concludes the formal portion of our event this morning. I would like to thank you, Minister Tanya Furr, uh, Cynthia Moore, AJ, and the rest of the artists and all of you for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you for taking the time and braving the roads to be here today. I'm now going to pass it over to Garrett Kohler, the Press Secretary for Minister of Arts, Culture, and Status Win, to lead a media Q&A portion of the event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Megan. All right, so I'll go to the floor first. Are there any questions from the floor? Everyone wants? No media on the line? Everyone, please give a big round of applause for the Alberta Foundation for the Arts, the Royal Alberta Museum, and all of our artists here today. 